this video, we are going to continue with solve simultaneous linear equations with two unknowns. But we are going to focus on the substitution method. You will find this on page 136 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Solve simultaneous linear equations in two unknowns using the substitution method. In the method of substitution, we use one linear equation and isolate one of the variables on one side of the equation. Then we substitute this equation into the other equation to obtain an equation in only one variable. Now sometimes it sounds very difficult in words. Let's look at an example. So use the, sub, uh, the substitution method to solve the simultaneous equation. Now again, it's just for practice that I force you now to do this method, but later on you can decide yourself, either elimination or substitution. Okay, this is the equations. So number the equation so that the working is made clear. Now, in this case, I'm just going to, if I take this equation, the, f the first equation, so re re rearrange equation 1 to express y in terms of x. That means make y the subject of the formula. Isolate y. Note, always try to avoid fractions. So choose a variable whose coefficient is 1. This is very important because you you are definitely going to struggle with fractions. So choose a variable whose coefficient is going to be 1. Okay, so there is y. Then I'm just going to, in this case, because it's negative y, I'm going to take that negative over to make it positive. And I leave that. And this 3, I also take it over. So I subtract 3, subtract 3. And then I just rearrange it. And now, so I'm, I'm, for substitution method, I'm always trying to get either 1x or 1a, doesn't matter, or 1y. I'm trying to get one of the equations in that format. Okay, and then I take the other equation, and as soon as I see y, I just throw it in. And then I'm just going to write it like this. So then I'm just going to simplify and solve the linear equation, find x is 4, substitute it in, and then I get. So actually this second part is the same for substitution and elimination. Okay. Uh, and again, as soon as you are finished, you can check your solutions. So let's start with doing an example. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A always good to start with A and I want you to do because A is nice it's already isolated and I think F do A and F you can continue the video as soon as you are finished okay let's start okay number A So it's x plus y equals 12. And it's y equals x plus 3. So this is equation 1, and this is equation 2. Now in this case, it's actually excellent, because one of the equations is already 1y equals. So I'm just going to substitute equation 2 into equation 1. That's all I'm going to do. So it's almost like I'm writing 1 and as soon I'm, I'm first going to write 1. That's 1. But as soon as I see a y, I'm just going to cut and I want to use another color. I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to throw it in here. So if I write it, it's x plus, and now in the place of y, it's x 
plus 3 and that's equal to 12. And that's x plus x plus 3 and that's 12. And that will give me 2x equals 12 minus 3. So 2x equals 9. And then I divide by 2, divide by 2, and the value of x is 4.5. So basically I'm going to write down now, now the second part is the same. Take any equation, in this case I'm just going to use another color. So x plus y equals 12, that's equation 1. And now in the place of x, I'm going to share substitute 4.5. And y is equal to 12 minus 4.5. And my final, final answer is going to be here 7.5. Looks like a double point, but it's only 7.5. So therefore, x is 4.5 and y equals 7.5 and that's my final. Okay, let's try to do another one. Number F. I'm just going to move it here so that we can see number F. So if I look at number F, it's going to be 2x plus 3y minus 13, make that equation 1, and y plus 5x minus 13, make that equation equals 0, oh. <laughs> equals 1, that's, that's a bit, let's just make this correct, okay, equals 0, equals 0, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Now again, you have to make change one of the equations. So do you see? Oh, it's nice. So just take that over. So just element, just manipulate that equation. So I will get y, and it's still equation 2. And if I take this over, okay, let's take the 13 over, because then it becomes positive, and this is negative. And that's still equation 2. And then I'm going to substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So that is going to give me then 2x, I'm first going to write it down again. Okay, and then in the place, do you see that's y? So I'm going to take this, I'm going to throw it in here, okay, or substitute it in there. So I'm going to get 2x, and now let's just write, first the 3, then the bracket, 13 minus 5x minus 13 equals 0. And now I'm just going to start multiplying it. So it's going to be 2x, this is going to be 39 minus 15x minus 13 equals 0. Zero, and then I'm going to this is number f. So I'm going to get two x. So it's negative thirteen. Hmm, let's just get it correct. Negative thirteen x, and let, if I take this over, it's thirteen minus thirty nine. So if I'm going to get that. So I'm going to get negative 13x, and there I get negative 26. So if I'm going to simplify that, I'm just going to divide negative 13, divide negative 13. The value of x will be equal to 2. And then I'm just going to continue. Let's move it up a little bit. 
Okay, let me can move this so that we just have more space. Okay, write one of the equations down. It doesn't matter which one. So the first one, 2x plus 3y minus 13 equals 0. And in the place of x, I'm going to put a 2. So 4 So 3y is 13 minus 4. So 3y is going to be 9. Divide 3, divide 3. So the value of y is going to be 3. So therefore, I'm ending. And so the value of x is 2. And the value of y is 3. And that's my final answer. Let's do another one. It's just taking the time and we can already... Okay, there it is. Let's look at this example. Now, in this case, okay, and this is a bit challenging because now I look three, four, two... Th no, it's not possible. To, no one is one. It's not possible to avoid fractions. But you can do fractions. It will be best to do it with elimination. But just to practice it, let's do it with fractions. Because later we're going to need to be able to work with fractions. So in this case, we um, so rearrange equation 1 to express A in terms of B. In this example, you cannot avoid fractions. So just divide 3 and I just substitute. Oh, and just remember, I'm actually just making my denominators the same. As soon as they are the same, I cancel them out because it's an equation. And then I'm basically doing the same. So it's just that fraction and it's just this part. You multiply with the lowest common multiple, in this case 3, and that's how you cancel them out. Okay, I want you to stop the video. And I just want you to do one. And as I said, usually you will go for elimination rather, but because we are going to do one linear and one um, quadratic, then you have, you have to get used to working with fractions. Okay, so let's start. So in this case, number A, 7M minus 3P equals 20. 2m plus 4p equals negative 4. Now we must decide which one. Uh, I, it seems to me I prefer this equal. Let's call this 1. Let's call this 2. So I think we're going to make m this, the, the subject of the formula. So if we do that, we will have 2m and it's going to be negative 4 minus 4p. And then I divide 2 and I divide 2. And I will get m is equal to negative 4 minus 4p over 2. And that's m. Okay, so now this is still equation 2. So I'm going to substitute equation 2 into 1. So I'm going to find 7. Okay, I'm first going to write it down. Okay, so by writing it down, so I'm just, this is trying now, 17, this is number A. Okay, so if I write it down, so in the place of M here, I'm going to substitute. So it's going to be 7, and then it's negative 4 minus 4P over 2, minus 3p, and that's going to be 20. Okay, uh, in this case, it's just the 2. So if you put it over 1, over 1, and you multiply by 2, actually, all the denominators. So it's, it's almost like, in this case, you just multiply 2 over 1. Multiply the LCM, 2 over 1. Multiply 2 over 1. And I'm just going to move up a little bit. So what do I get? In this case, I multiply, as I said, uh, 2 over 1, so no, this is going to cancel here. So, so, it's cancelled. There it cannot cancel, but here it cancel. 
So in this case, it's going to stay 7, negative 4, minus 4p. I'm just going to first write it out. And this is going to be negative 6p, and this is going to be 40. And then this is going to be negative 28, negative 28p, minus 6p, equals 40. And then in this case, so I'm going to get, so if I simplify my like terms, so it's negative 34p, oh, where is this? P is equal to 40 plus 28. Oh, come, Ken, come. So it's negative 34p, and that is going to be 68. And then I divide negative 34, okay. and I divide negative 34. And then I'm going to get, I want to move it just a bit up, and then I will write more on top. So then I'm going to get that my value of P is going to be negative 2. P is negative 2. And now I'm just going to write it in. So in this, um, I'm just writing one of the equations down. It doesn't matter which one. I just want to use definitely another color. Uh, so it's going to be 7M minus 3P equals 20. So it's going to be 7M minus 3, negative 2, equals 20. So 7m plus 6 equals 20. So 7m equals 20. Let's get that being correct. 20 minus 6. So 7m equals 14. And then I divide by 7. Oh, the pen is not giving its cooperation. Divide 7, but it doesn't matter. What can you see? You can see the value of m is... So therefore, the value of m is 2 and the value of p is negative 2. Practice a few of the fraction ones. It's not so difficult. You must. The only difficult part is that you must find the lowest common multiple of the denominators, multiply it by it, all the terms, in order to get rid of the fraction.